<laughs> That's so corny. <laughs> Welcome to my YouTube channel, The Nerdy Math Guru. My name is Yannette, and this is going to be my first uh, math tutorial video. Uh, today, we are going to begin with integer operation. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, let's get started. So um, in math, we have four basic operations, adding, multiplying, dividing, subtracting. So those are the four that we're gonna talk about with integer operations. So um, with adding, we're gonna start with adding. You have two different scenarios. You could either have the same sign or you could have different signs. So you could have two positives, two negatives, or different signs, a positive and a negative. The rules are, if you have the same sign, then you just add the numbers, you keep the sign of the two numbers, and if you have different signs, you subtract the numbers, actually, and then you take the sign of the bigger number. Obviously not, like one of them will be negative, but not looking at it with the negative, so the higher absolute value, basically. Sorry, we got the first example here. Notice how this is positive and a negative, so these are different signs. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna take the difference four and three, that's one. And then my bigger number, three or four, four is bigger, so the sign will be negative. Over here we have same sign, both are negative, so I'm gonna add them, eight plus two is 10, and then I'm gonna take the sign here, both are negative, so the sign at the end, the result will be negative. All right, next up, two plus seven, piece of cake, nine. All right, different signs here. So I'm gonna subtract seven and five, I get two. And let's see, seven is bigger, this seven is negative, so my result will be negative. Whoopsie. All right, then over here we have a positive and a negative, different signs, so subtract, 12 minus four, I get eight. And then the 12 is bigger and the 12 is positive, so this will be a positive eight. Awesome. Next up, let's talk about subtracting. So with subtracting, what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna change this to a addition problem. We're going to switch it from a subtraction problem to an addition problem. And what I like to do is I just like to think as opposite, opposite. So if I'm looking at subtracting a positive, that's the same as adding a negative. And if I'm subtracting a negative, that's the same thing as adding a positive. So basically, if you have a double sign like this, you can look at it like it, a double negative is a positive. So like if I say, you can't not eat this awesome imaginary candy, then that means that you can. So a double negative is a positive. So subtracting a negative is the same thing as adding a positive or adding. And if you're subtracting a positive, then that's the same thing as adding a negative. Okay, so let's practice. So eight plus negative seven is the same thing as eight plus seven, which is 15. Yay, woo! Okay. Next up, negative six minus positive 11. So that's the same thing as negative six plus negative 11. And here we're gonna use those same addition rules that we just learned or recovered. And whenever I have the same sign and I'm adding, I'm gonna add the numbers six plus 11, 17, and I'm gonna take the sign that they have. So negative, my result will be negative. So negative 17. Okay. Uh, next up, nine minus two. Who needs to change this to an addition problem? Not me, nine minus two is seven. If you really wanted to, side note, you could. Nine plus negative two, then you have different signs, so you end up subtracting them. Nine minus two is seven, and then the nine is the higher number, so you take that sign and it's positive. Okay. Negative five minus one. So negative five plus negative one, which is negative six. Then four minus seven is the same thing as four plus negative eight. I think I just said seven. I'm an eight. <laughs> 
So you have um, subtracting a positive 8 is the same thing as adding a negative 8. So we have different signs here, and so we're going to take the difference. 8 and 4 is 4, and the 8 is bigger than the 4, so this will be a negative 4 as an answer. Okay, last one. Negative 8 minus negative 2. This is negative 8 plus positive 2. So 8 and 2 different signs, uh, the negative 8 and the 2 have different signs, so I'm going to subtract. It is 6, and then I'm going to take the sign of the higher number, so that's negative 6. Okie dokie. Last set that we are going to do is multiplying and dividing. Now, I have great news. Multiplying and dividing have the same rules. If you multiply or divide, doesn't matter what you're doing. If they're the same sign, you're just gonna multiply them together like regular, divide them together like regular. And then what you have to do is be careful with the sign of the answer. So the sign of the result, if you have the same sign, will be positive. The sign of the result, if you have different signs, will be negative. So let's take a look at the first example. We have positive and a negative, so they're different signs. So my result will be negative. And eight times seven, 56. Hopefully you know your multiplication table. All right, uh, negative five, positive three, so different signs, my result will be negative. And five times three is 15. Okay, I also wanna stop here and point out that we have uh, two different kind of uh, notation for multiplication going on here. We have this one where it's using a parentheses, this one where it's a dot in the middle, that also means multiplication, and then the last one is over here, we haven't done this one yet, but it's with a little cross. Uh, it's not an X, a variable, this one in this case is multiplication. Typically, you start off with this one and then you move on to like writing it as either a dot or a parentheses is what's more acceptable in higher level math courses. Um, the one thing that I do want to point out about parentheses that students get confused all the time, this is multiplication. That is not the same thing as this, okay? Now here's the difference. Here the next to the parentheses on the left is a negative or a minus. That is actually telling you to do 8 minus 7, which would be 1. Over here next to the parentheses right next to it is the 8. So because there is a number directly next to the parentheses, you actually are doing multiplication, which is where you get the negative 56. So these two are not the same, okay? Not equal. All right, let's keep going. Uh, different signs here, my result will be negative, and nine times two is 18. Then over here, same sign. So my answer will be positive. Six divided by one, six. Okay, um, over here, negative times a negative, same sign. So I'll be having a positive as an answer. And then four times eight is 32. Okay, last one, woohoo, we're done, almost. Uh, negative eight divided by positive two. I wanna point out, I also have here division symbol means divide, but fraction bar also means divide. So these are like the two ways that you write division, with the division symbol or with a fraction bar. Fraction bar means division. Uh, different signs, so my answer will be negative, and eight divided by two is four. Yay! We're done! Alright guys, thank you for watching my video. I hope that you subscribe to my channel. I will be posting a lot more math uh, tutoring videos. And if you could please like and comment down below. This is my first video, so I'd love to get some feedback from you on how you think I did and what you would like to see any ideas or suggestions for uh, maybe a math topic that you're struggling in and maybe I'll do that on my next video I think I'm thinking about starting off with just some foundational uh, topics like today was integer operations maybe next time will be fraction operations that's one that one's a big one that people typically get kind of confused with or forget um, but yeah, and I also want to remind you, 
in the description box below there is a free practice worksheet for integer operations so you can practice and at the bottom of the uh, worksheet are the answers so you can check your work okay all right guys stay awesome bye